Eight popular exercises that don't work at all. It's hard enough finding the time and motivation to hit the gym. So props to you if you've managed to get past that initial hurdle. But what if the exercises you're doing are doing nothing for you? Number 8. Dumbbell Loaded Side Bends When you do side bends while holding a dumbbell in each hand, you're basically wasting your time. Each dumbbell counterbalances the other, so straightening up doesn't require much muscle effort. Your obliques don't need to work since the weight in your other hand simply pulls you up. Plus, this exercise puts a lot of strain on your spine and the tissues that serve as shock absorbers. As a result, you can rupture a spinal disc. If you want to make your side bend safer and more effective, use just one dumbbell. But a much better option that won't be potentially risky for your back is the side plank crunch. To do this exercise, you'll need to get into a side plank with your left elbow and forearm on the floor and your right hand touching your head. Then, while keeping your waist lifted, you should bring your right leg toward your shoulder, touch your right elbow, and return to the initial position. Three sets of 10 reps on each side will be enough. This side plank crunch will improve your balance, strengthen your core, and slim down your waist. Number 7. Standing Chest Fly Many fans of the standing chest fly believe that the motion of closing and opening their arms in front of them works their chest muscles. Sadly, it's far from the truth if you do this while standing. Due to gravity, the weights you're holding keep pulling down on your arms. Consequently, this exercise does nothing for your chest. It only stresses the rotator cuffs in your shoulders. Luckily, you can easily adjust this exercise to make it effective and safe. All you need to do is lie down. Take a dumbbell in each hand and position them above your chest. Your elbow should be slightly bent. Move your arms to the side slowly. After they reach the floor, lift your arms back to the initial position. 10 reps will do the trick. Number 6. Smith Machine Squats Squats are a great exercise that trains your core, butt, and legs. But by doing squats with the use of a Smith machine, you don't do your body any good. A Smith machine is a popular type of gym equipment with a weight bar that slides up and down on a track. Few people know that this machine makes you move in an unnatural way. Since the bar is fixed, you can't arch your back, which is natural for your body. Plus, there isn't enough space to adjust the angles of your joints. Basically, these two circumstances increase your risk of a lower back or knee injury. Try not to rely on machines too much and do your squats with free weights or with a bar weight. If you do everything correctly, you don't have to worry about hurting yourself. Plus, you'll use a lot more of your body's own natural stabilizing muscles, which will make your workout way more effective. Number 5. Exercising with extremely light dumbbells If you don't follow the overload principle, which means you challenge your muscles to the max, you won't gain strength or build muscle mass. Of course, using cute little lightweight dumbbells definitely won't harm you, but they also won't be of any use at all. In this case, why waste your time? To determine the proper dumbbell weight for your fitness level, pick one and start to do an exercise. If you manage to do only 8 to 12 reps, that's it, you found your perfect weight. If you can do 15 reps or more, the weight isn't heavy enough. Number 4. Leg Extensions Even if you're dreaming of powerful toned quads, using the leg extension machine isn't the way to go. The thing is that when you sit on this machine, you work your legs separately from the rest of your body. This is unnatural, since your legs weren't designed to move so much weight upwards. This puts a lot of strain on your knees, particularly the ligaments and tendons situated there. In the end, you can easily hurt this vulnerable part of the body. If you don't have any health limitations, opt for lunges or squats. You'll still use the knee extension motion, but you'll simultaneously work other muscles around the joint as well while decreasing your risk of a serious knee injury. Number 3. Back Extensions with Added Weight Doing extensions isn't a bad thing, especially if you need to strengthen your core. Hyperextension, however, is a different story. When you use a hyperextension bench, you can overarch your lower back all too easily. This is particularly risky for those who have excess abdominal fat or an inborn exaggerated curve. And if you decide to do this exercise while holding a weight plate, you dramatically increase your risk of injury. Besides, extra weight may throw you off balance. A much better way to strengthen your lower back and work your midsection is to do back extensions lying on the floor, belly down. In this case, you should stretch your arms out in front of you with your palms down. Your legs should be straight. Lift your right arm and your left leg off the floor and stretch them out as much as you can. Hold it for about 5 seconds and then return to the initial position. Do the same for the other side. Repeat this exercise 10 times on each side. Number 2. Crunches 
It's a common misconception that doing a bunch of crunches is your ticket to a stronger core and a rocking six pack. But experts are sure that no matter how many crunches you do, this won't rid you of stubborn belly fat. This exercise will only emphasize a slouching posture that people get when they sit in a chair all day. If your goal is tight abs, nothing will help you better than planking. Unlike crunches, the plank involves all the core muscles, tightens your midsection, and reduces back pain. It significantly improves your flexibility as well. When you do this exercise, the muscles around your collarbones, shoulders, and shoulder blades stretch and expand. The same happens to the arches of your feet, your hamstrings, and your toes. On top of that, it's exactly the plank, not crunches, that can improve your posture and benefit your balance. Number 1. The Elliptical The elliptical is a cardio machine loved by many. It's said to be easy on your joints, and you can watch your favorite shows while getting a portion of your daily exercise. Unfortunately, this activity doesn't do much for your body. First of all, when using this training equipment, you don't follow your body's natural motion. This means that this exercise isn't as effective for strengthening your muscles as, let's say, running or even walking. The elliptical does burn calories, and it can even make your heart a bit stronger, but it doesn't boost your fitness level at all. The only reason you might want to use this equipment is if you have an injury and can't walk, run, or climb stairs. A great alternative to the elliptical is a stair mill. It gives you a perfect aerobic workout while training all kinds of muscle groups throughout your body. Have you heard of any other exercises that aren't worth your time? Let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life. Hey.